Yo everyone, welcome back to a new video. I said yo ironically there, and today we're checking out this rather obscure Gorilla Tag uh, fan fan game. Uh, I mean, you know, Gorilla Tag. There are so many fan games of it that can you even call it that? Gorilla Tag is like the original, you know. But like these, look at this. It's similar to Gorilla Tag, but you can't just call it a copy, right? This, who knows, uh, this was probably inspired by Gorilla Tag, but maybe the thousands of other fan games too. Mainly because it's open source. So, uh, yeah, the thousands of games and stuff, but, uh, today, we're gonna be checking out how to get to a rather obscure place I like to call the Dead Forest. Unlike this one behind me. It all, like, all the, the... the... I'll explain it later. Alright, so, the first thing you gotta do is eat your hot dog. And now, the actual first thing you gotta do is go to the desert. But don't actually- What? Anyway, don't actually go in the desert yet. Because the way you're gonna have to do this is by going through the top here. Boop. And you'll end up on top of this interesting platform. Yeah, the, be careful not to press the trigger that teleports you back to the forest. So, use your platform to- get over that and now you should end up here so now what you need to do because you see the back rooms is there and there is the dead forest because off camera i actually got killed by the back rooms monster because sometimes that's invisible so the way to make it visible is by getting caught by the back rooms monster but enough of that you need to jump down here and you need to keep falling until the little corner of that map yeah disappears like that and then you can just walk forward and you should be low enough to just squeeze under the invisible wall that of the uh, back rooms. So, just another walking montage, I guess. And once you reach this side of the back rooms, you just go up, you know, right here, and you should end up on top of a red carpet, like so. So now, what you need to do, like, the rest of this is basically just a hallway, but there is an invisible wall you should be careful of at the end, so I'll teach you about that. Right now! So you see here, this is the dead forest, but there's an invisible wall stopping you right here. So what you need to do, you just squeeze through here, and then you jump on the grass. There! It's that easy. And now you're in! You're in the dead forest! I know this was a short tutorial, but it's really that easy to get in the dead forest. As I call it. Now, I personally call this the Dead Forest, but you can call it whatever you want, because that is not its official name. I just made that name myself. But, you know, if if you want to know me as the person who discovered it, then you can call it the Dead Forest yourself, too. Some people just call it, like, the weird playground behind the back rooms, you know? I call it the Dead Forest. You call it what you want. But yeah, you can go ahead and explore. There's a big old slide. There's these platforms, it's just like the normal map, but there's these boys, the, uh, the things trying to get me. And I heard that one of these, but not all of them, will actually crash your game if you, if you touch it. I think it's- Oh, that was not a crash! Ah! Okay, so, uh, that didn't actually happen, I just cut the video there, but, uh, yeah, those things are harmless, actually, you know. Remember, just cut the video. Nothing really happens there, because you're not really supposed to be there. Like, in fact, it's not even loaded by default. You have to get caught by the monster for it to even load. I don't know why it's there, but you can go there using the tutorial I just gave you. The very short tutorial at that. So yeah, that's the end. Thanks for watching, and bye! Thanks for watching! See ya! Warning! Side effects may include getting reported, getting accused of having no clip, kids being confused, and uh, whatever this is. And merged music.